My name is Mike Stewart. I'm with TPI. I'm doing a quick demonstration on the new uh, DC710 Bluetooth Combustion Analyzer. Right now we're just going to test a uh, high efficiency two-stage furnace. I have already confirmed that the gas pressure is correct both on low fire and high fire. Now we're going to proceed to do a high fire test. Magnets on the back of this. It's got a flue probe, depth adjustment with water trap. Now what we have on this installation is a test port. Probably the best way to, to do a test. These are approved. These are uh, manufactured by the same people that make the venting. Midstream. Now I've already turned my analyzer on in fresh air and did the, the fresh air purge. I'm ready to go now. Temperature probe in, flu probe, and there I go. Now I'm using an iPad. Any smart device will work, either ISO or Android. It's a free app to download. Put on the app. Now it's gonna scan for the device. We've got the DC710 and the ID number. And there it is. The furnace is fired up. We're going to start the pump. Today we have it, uh, the analyzer set up for... Uh, Propane, LPG, that's what we're working on today. You got all your fuel choices there. Now, when you first start uh, start an appliance at a cold start, expect some CL. It could be a, you know, four or 500 parts per million, but we wanna make sure we get to steady state. goes. In this case, we're at over 400 parts per million. And now it's coming down. Very normal. We have our carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide ratio oxygen, excess air, temperature. Right down the bottom, we have our efficiency. This will display in gross efficiency or net efficiencies for our friends there in the UK. So now our CO has dropped down to 19 parts per million, which is good. We just want the readings to stabilize. Our oxygen is still dropping. Point seven. Again, temperature. Still at 78 degrees. Doing a combustion analysis only takes about two minutes once we reach steady state. Looks like it's getting pretty good. Eight parts per million. 9.3% oxygen. Excess air, 80%. At this point, we can actually create the report. If you have cell phone service, it will use the GPS coordinates from your phone but cell, for, so, cell phone service is not required. The analyzer uses Bluetooth. So at this point, I can put my uh, 
reference number on here or an ID. So I'm just gonna call this high fire. And now I'm gonna save this to the job. Now I've already created the job, saved the job, and the job is Mike. And then here I've also saved my gas pressures uh, with our Bluetooth manometer. This also displays the last time it was calibrated, your battery life, when it's due for calibration. After the test is done, we can disconnect the flu probe. At this point, I can go to my job management, view my open job, job is Mike, and this is where I can view my reports. Now, I've got three reports here. I have a low fire gas manifold setup and a high fire, and I've used our uh, SP620 Bluetooth manometer, and I've also got the high fire with a combustion analysis. Now I'm gonna sign off on these. At this point, I can select all these, these uh, reports. Now I can uh, put my customer's name in here. And that happens to be myself here today. Um, have the customer sign for it. Save it. And it goes straight to my email. Dear Mike, my reports are on here. There's my high fire uh, combustion analysis, my gas pressure, low fire and high fire. Send. Done.